Some stuff has happened, let's talk about it. All right, so first of all, this tank is looking all right. Um, I'd like to recommend to every single person out there, uh, don't ever get white sand with live plants unless you're fine with your sand looking like utter garbage. Uh, mine looks pretty bad, but you know, I'm, I'm going for that all natural look, <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, that's just an excuse. I need to clean this thing. I'm gonna be doing some maintenance today. Uh, if you look here, you can see this one plant, which I thought was dying, has actually grown right all the way up out of the water. So uh, yeah, I guess you could call this a paludarium if you really wanted to, but I mean, that's just stupid. Uh, moving all over to the nine gallon. Uh, things are looking good. Things are looking sharp. We got our Cory cat chilling out over here. We got our two neons and our black neon. We got our secondary black neon hiding back there. And we've got a secondary Cory cat hiding somewhere right around here. And then we have another problem to address. See that? That's one of these guys. I put two of the pond snails into this tank. Now that is one of them. Take a look. See just how big he is. Look at that. And the other one, he made his way into the filter. Now, don't know if we can see him right now. Nah, you probably can't. It's really dark. But he is in there. I have. That was my first place I wanted to check. I'm like, okay, where the hell is this guy? And I thought, you know what? He probably made his way into the filter. And sure enough, he did. Let's just clean that up real quick. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, we got a bunch of terrariums going on here. I've made uh, a few off camera, such as this one. Uh, that's, I finally got a cactus in here, which is great. Uh, and then I have the ecosphere. I've only mentioned this in a video, but yeah, it's a pretty cool project. And um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are some micro, yeah, you can kind of see them moving around there. There are some like microorganisms in there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, moving along, uh, the Dimes of Fly nymphs are officially dead. They are not in here anymore. I mentioned this already, but you know, just final head in the coffin. Uh, driftwood. Yeah, it's still waterlogging. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to give it two more weeks, and if it's not done, I'm just going to say screw it. And what I'll probably do is end up putting the driftwood into this tank when I revamp it, but we'll see about that. And this tank looks way nicer on camera than it does in... Uh, real life. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Um, here we have the crowning prize jewel, the isopod terrarium thing. We're going to talk about that in just a sec. Entering the bedroom, we have uh, the fish bowl, which has way less scum on it now than it used to, which is great. I have a heater. The heater is not set up right now because this power freaking bar thing is it sucks one side doesn't work which is a real pain in the ass because i need to have the heater plugged in um the light my desk lamp plugged in uh my fan plugged in and then my phone charger plugged in and obviously with two i can't do that so i'm gonna need to get like a better power strip but uh, yeah the plants here are doing fine even though the plant here isn't even its roots aren't even in the ground which is kind of funny i had to basically rip this thing apart because i was trying to replant one of the plants that had floated up and in the process i broke the layer and the dirt came up it was just a mess i redid the whole thing uh now i did put snails in here for a while but because i couldn't oh that doesn't even work oh no i unplugged it didn't i uh yeah the problem with is this i gotta figure out which wire to use uh, the problem with the um, snails in there was I didn't want them in there without heat because I didn't think they'd be very appreciative of that. So, And the problem with the heater right now is it touches the bottom and that caused the smell of burning plastic. So I'm trying to find a way to like prop it up like this. So we're going to figure this out. This has way less water in it than it normally does. It just evaporated. I haven't done anything about it. Uh, this is the light I'm using. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, stuff going on in here actually i consider this kind of like a secondary ecosphere uh we've got a crap ton of worms on the glass now they're incredibly hard to see but all that kind of gunk you can see on the glass like right along here those are worms so you know it's kind of annoying but it's also kind of cool at least from my perspective we also got little shrimpy things i think they're called scoots you can just barely see them they're really hard to get on camera with this thing especially but yeah they're just little 
like they look like copepods almost. There's definitely there's two types. There's one that looks like how a copepod does, like if you ever watch those Blue Planet documentaries. But then there's another one that has like a double tail thing going on. I don't know. It's really it's hard to explain and it's hard to show because well I can't really show it. Uh, I did clean this entire thing out one time. I got a gravel vac and like sucked every little organism up, but uh, they they've all <laughs> they've all made their way back into here. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of them. So, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully whatever ends up living here will just devour them or something. I don't really know. But, you know, they are kind of cool to look at. But, you know, when I get stuff in here, they're just going to be a pain. And, you know, they might infect my fish or something. Uh, here we have the terrariums I made in my last video. Well, two of them. Uh, the other one actually started having mold growth. And I'm going to try to fix that with some springtails, which I'm hopefully getting sometime soon. We have a cactus here. Uh, this is the first one. It is doing relatively well. All the mosses and plants are doing well. This guy is doing all right. Uh, there is some mold growth. I don't know if you can see that on the wood itself, but hopefully when I get some springtails in here, they will fix that. This big terrarium had flies in it for a while. I don't even know. I think they came from little eggs that were on the moss, but yeah, I had a few flies in here. Unfortunately, the moisture content was so high that it killed them, but it would have been cool. Uh, but yeah, you can see everything in here is looking pretty good. You can see there's some mold growing on the clover. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some springtails or something in here, but it definitely smells all right. And it definitely looks all right. It's not, there is mold. I don't know if you can see it, it's back there, but uh, yeah, it's not too big of a deal at this point, but I'm definitely gonna wanna get some springtails and or ice pods in here to eventually eat it all. And the snail is no longer in here. Um, I found him constantly burrowed under the dirt because I guess he didn't really like the uh, sort of temperate environment that was in here as a, well not temperate the more tropical-esque environment since it would get so you know humid in here because it, the moisture is you know com it's completely air well pretty much airtight so I took him out and you can still see some of the lines from when he was in here kind of I put him into the isopod enclosure thing and there's a lot to talk about with that so let's get into that Okay, here we have the isopod, slug, snail, all sorts of things in closure. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look inside. So I'm gonna move this over to my desk so we can get a better look at things. So there's a few differences you might notice with this thing. Right off the back, you can, right off the back, yep. Well, that is correct to say. Right off the bat, uh, you can see that I have added a black background. This is just some uh, construction tape paper that I did a very poor job of taping to the back here. I just couldn't stand how this thing looked without a background, and I'm really glad I ended up putting it on. But that's not the interesting bit. The interesting bit is what lies inside. So, of course, let's take a look. Remove the lid and our saran wrap layer, and we can get into things. All right, so looking into here, you can see there's a lot of things going on. Uh, another major thing you would have noticed, I took out the driftwood. And the reason I did this is because I like being able to reach in here and you know like lift stuff up i'm not gonna lift it up majorly because i want to show you what's going on but i like being able to do that and with the driftwood in that was pretty much impossible with the exception of that piece of bark so i took it out it doesn't look as nice but it's a lot more interactive and it feels it just feels nicer to have because like with the fish tanks they're more about display obviously it's about fish keeping but it's also about you know just displaying the um displaying the fish. Sorry, video I was editing just started playing. Um, yeah, it's about keeping the fish, but it's also about displaying them, making sure things look nice. But with this, it's also about looking nice and just sort of an experimental thing. So uh, yeah, that's why I did that. Anyways, uh, enough of me rambling. Let's just jump into here. So yeah, everything seems to be doing quite nice. And we're going to take a look at all of our little animals living in here. Uh, there's a fly, first of all. I don't even know how it got in here. Um... Okay, I'm just trying to think of where to start. I guess we'll just start with this piece of wood. Now, if we open this up, we have the snail and we have Slimin the slug. Looking both very nice. Slimin is a completely nocturnal animal at this point, And he only comes up at night to uh, dine on our lettuce. And I'm definitely going to need to replenish the lettuce soon because we are definitely running low. Uh, underneath this piece of moss, we can see an isopod hanging out right here. And if we are to lift this up, we should be able to see some things. Uh, there's a fly. Nothing much, actually. That's kind of unfortunate. There's a beetle. 
know if you can see them. And uh, earlier what I witnessed was actually kind of cool. I saw a baby isopod. So if you, well, at least I think it was an isopod. It definitely looked like one. So a few videos ago I mentioned uh, how I seem to be having, uh, seeing, bleh, yeah, seem to be seeing some of my isopods uh, breeding. And uh, well, it seems that that was completely true because since then I have witnessed at least one of them, but it burrowed unfortunately very quickly so I didn't get enough footage. Under this piece is where it gets really interesting. We have many things here. Or perhaps not on this day. Well, we do have a nice pod there, so it's good to know that they are alive and well. And there is... The centipede is still alive. I just... I don't know where he's gone because... Like, earlier today, like I'm talking maybe 10 minutes ago when I was looking at this last, he was right there. I think I may have scared him and he may have uh, moved to a different location. That would make sense, but uh, yeah. Um, next thing I'm planning to do with this is actually, I'm gonna change out the soil and actually add a thicker layer. And there's a few things, up, reasons I'm gonna do that. A, just to give this thing a bit more depth so there's more kind of to look at. It's not just the bottom half. Uh, second, I wanna get a few more mosses or different plants to kind of put in here, just see what happens. I'm gonna toss a few more bugs in here just to see how that goes. Look at those, there's just flies in here. Like, I don't even, <laughs> They don't escape either. Like, I can leave this lid off and they won't leave. I don't know why. Uh, but another thing I want to do is add a thicker layer of dirt, as I just mentioned like 10 seconds ago. But I want to do that because I actually want to see if I can have some earthworms in here. It's quite cool to have this little, like, it's only a two-gallon tank, but it's successfully su sustained an ecosystem with beetles, uh, flies, uh, slugs, isopods, snails, centipedes, millipedes, you name it. They're all, I, I've only dug out one dead isopod so far and that was at the very beginning. And the only other thing that I think has died probably since is I put like a weevil that my dad found in here and that's the, that's one of the only things I've put in here and I haven't seen since. So that's probably one of the only things that's gotten eaten. Uh, but I, yeah, so that's, that's everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed me rambling, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.